What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a toilet plunger. Alright guys, here's what you're going to need. At least two feet of half inch PVC pipe, a measuring tape, a saw or something to cut the PVC pipe, a pencil, a glue gun, a plastic water bottle, a file or sandpaper, and some electrical tape. Alright guys, you're going to start by taking your PVC pipe and marking it at about two feet. Alright guys, now you're going to cut it at the line you marked. Try to get it as straight as you can. Now it's fine if the cut didn't come out clean, because that's what we're going to use the file or the sandpaper for. Alright guys, once you're done with that, you're going to want to clear off your workstation of all the shavings because you don't want it to interfere with the next step. Alright guys, once you're done with that, you're going to want to take your water bottle and you're going to want to cut it an inch from the top. Good, now just throw the bottom half aside for now and trim off all the rough edges. Alright, once you've done that and you know there's no sharp edges, what you're going to want to do now is make sure that there's no water inside. Alright, now take your electrical tape and cut off about an inch to half inch strips. These are going to be placed on the rim of the water bottle you just cut to provide a little bit of cushion. Start by placing the tape on the jagged edge halfway and folding in the excess. this all the way around. Alright guys, now take your PVC pipe and your hot glue gun and just put a bead around the edge of the PVC pipe. Next you're going to want to take your bottle and just slide it over the top. You're going to want to try to get it flush with the inside of the rim so that way your darts slide in easily. Make sure you get enough of it in there that it's going to really hold firm. Don't worry if some of the glue seeps out because we're going to cover that up later. In fact this is the time where if you feel the glue isn't going to hold properly you can put a little more on the outside. Just set it down and let it dry. Alright guys, once we've let it dry a little bit, we're going to take the electrical tape and we're going to begin wrapping it the entire way around the mouthpiece. Now we just do a little bit of touch up. Alright guys, 
guys. Now you can choose to wrap this if you want. I'm going to do it with the electrical tape. You can use duct tape or hell, even spray paint if you wanted to. And this is what it will look like if you do choose to use the electrical tape to wrap it. I think it's better because it adds a little bit of grip to it. Sorry guys, I started without you a little bit there. This is really simple to do. All you do is you lay down your strip of duct tape, you lay the sticky side up, and you try to center your blowgun in the middle of the duct tape. Once you've done that, all you do is apply a little bit of pressure to it and rock back and forth. And then you just trim off your excess. You're also going to want to wrap both ends just to make sure it doesn't fray or come undone. Alright guys, here's what you're going to need to make the darts. Some sticky notes. Two inch nails and half inch screws. Half a paper plate some scissors, a hot glue gun, and some tape. Alright guys, start with the paper plate and you want to make a cone. Tape it so it won't come undone. Now you take a sticky note sticky side facing you, you're going to make a cone over the mold. And so it holds, put tape around the tip. Make sure the top inch of the cone has tape on it. Then you can take it off the cone. Insert your finger into the cone you just made and then press it into your blowgun. Move your finger around so it makes a nice crease. This crease is where you're going to cut. Once cut, make sure it fits into your blowgun. Alright, now that you have your fletching made, take your nail, stick it through the bottom, and right out the tip. Next, fill the fletching one third of the way with hot glue. Spin the nail as you pull it through, don't pull it through all the way. This will form a nice seal, ensuring the nail will not move during flight. Then just set it aside and let it cool. For the airsoft version of the dart, you're not going to put any tip on it at all. Just fill it with the hot glue and let it cool. For the blunt force glass breaker, simply put the screw in through the tip and add hot glue. The hot glue is to weigh down the front ensuring it will fly straight and not topple over while in the air. For the holster you're going to need, the rest of that plastic water bottle, toilet paper roll, some electrical tape, a pair of pliers or two, a scissor, a popsicle stick or two, a 
pencil and some string. All right, you're gonna to wanna to start by completely wrapping the toilet paper roll. You're also gonna to wanna to do this with a plastic water bottle. You may notice that I folded it over on top, similar to how we did the blowgun's mouthpiece. Don't bother wrapping it on bottom, nobody's really going to see that. You can, if you want, and it is optional. Now you're going to take your popsicle stick, and you're going to mark it the width of the electrical tape all the way down. Okay, when you're done marking, you should come out to have six segments. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to break them all off. Now you're going to want to take your electrical tape and you're going to want to cut off about a six inch strand. Next, lay it down sticky side up, down onto the table. Now before you go any further, you're going to want to sand down the rough edges on the popsicle stick. Now you're going to take the segments and you're going to put them down on the strip of electrical tape. You're going to want to put them about a half inch apart from one another. Alright, now that you're done with that, you're going to be applying it to your plastic bottle. You're going to want to put it just above the halfway mark. Then you're going to go over it one more time with electrical tape just to make sure it stays down. Now you're going to want to poke two holes with your scissors just above the halfway mark. Take your string and feed it through. I like to singe the ends of mine so they don't fray. Now you're going to do the same thing with the toilet paper roll. Put them both next to each other so you know you're going to make the holes level. Once done, feed the string through the toilet paper roll. Next you want to make sure you have an even amount of string on both sides. Once you do, you can tie a knot. I like to tie two knots just to make sure it's not going to come undone.
Now you can put your ammo in. Your pointed tip dart rounds go on the side. Your glass breakers and your airsoft rounds drop right inside. Now you can put your blowgun in. And as an alternative, you can use a inch piece of a pool noodle to hold your darts just the same. If you don't like your ends pointing out, just get about two inch to three inch section. You'll notice the pool noodle is a perfect fit to fly onto your blowgun. Need something to hold the rest of your ammo in? Try using an old pack of cigarettes. The container will work quite well. In my case, I'm using a plastic container because I used to roll my own cigarettes. You just put the piece of the popsicle stick inside the electrical tape and use that as a cover. And just like you would on your last holster design, feed the paracord through the holes you make under your containers. Just remember guys, if you're going to be shooting the pointed rounds, use some protection. My nipple! <laughs> My other nipple! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 